As we told you last night, national science correspondent Bob McDonald has received a big honor. He's had an asteroid named after him. We brought him in from space to talk about it. <laughs> uh, what was your, this is a, a, what's your reaction when you find out you've been named, an uh, asteroid's been named after you? I was stunned, Amanda. I was actually on a sailing trip circumnavigating Vancouver <laughs> Island, and I'd been out of touch of internet and all that, which is the whole purpose of sailing. And uh, we came into Tofino, and I checked my messages and all that, and here was a message from David Balaam saying that he had named an asteroid that he discovered in 2006 after me. Now, David's from the University of Victoria, and it's a tradition for astronomers to name uh, asteroids, uh, they get to name them. If they discover them, they can name them, right. usually after themselves. <laughs> but Davis discovered uh, a dozen of them, so he put it after me, and I, I almost fell overboard. I was so stunned. And it's a pretty honored. big deal. It uh, is. So we wondered about exactly why David chose you, uh, a professional astrono astronomical observer, David Balaam, uh, as uh, Bob says, back in 2006, discovered several. He named, I think, one for himself, uh, yes. but he did name one for Bob, and we caught, tracked him down in Victoria to find out why. Here's what he had to say. Congratulations, Bob. Uh, the main reason that I, I proposed the name for this asteroid is that I've been a, a great fan of yours for many, many years uh, via Quirks and Quarks and uh, some of your, your science blogs. And I couldn't think of a, uh, a more deserving person, really, to have his name put onto a minor planet. It's a bit like immortality. Uh, this planet will be in orbit for the entire length of, the, of our existence and forevermore will be called Bob McDonald. So once more, congratulations. Oh, man, you didn't tell me you were going to do that. Well, how does that... <laughs> I am, I'm, uh, thank you, David. What can I say? I, I am so deeply honored. It is a bit of and, immortality. Yes, it is. And you know what, what also strikes me is that this tradition goes back to the greatest scientists that ever lived. We've been naming things after Copernicus and Herschel and Einstein and, and Galileo and, and uh, to think that I'm on that list is rather humbling. So many, it's a uh, Many of us would have put deal. you there. Uh, yeah. Can you set our minds at rest about one thing? Yeah. I had this fear. We all talk about an asteroid hitting Earth and it being cataclysmic. Yeah. Bob McDonald's it, not going to hit it's Earth. It's not going to do that. If we have time, I'll show you its orbit. Uh, it's just beyond <laughs> the orbit of uh, Mars and Jupiter, and it's on an angle, and uh, you can see here it is. It's uh, going around. It's about three times as far away from the sun as we are, as the Earth is. And no, it doesn't cross the Earth's orbit, so asteroid Bob McDonald will not end civilization. Bob, congratulations. Thank you so much, Amanda. Our national science columnist and heavenly body, Bob McDonald.